uh, good afternoon and schönen guten Nachmittag, buon pomeriggio. It's a pleasure to hear from uh, all of you and uh, for me it's, uh, it's really great to be back here on Space Station. As uh, you mentioned, President Sakocha, it's uh, indeed a second home and uh, I feel very much at home here. Uh, welcomed warmly by the fantastic crew that was on board uh, already, Crew 3 and our Russian colleagues of the Soyuz crew and of course notably uh, my ESA colleague Matthias. So very, very special to be here on board with a, uh, an ESA colleague. Yes, and the same for me. It's like, obviously, I'm very, very happy to see Samantha up here in space taking over the European leadership and the microphone. <laughs> and I'm so convinced that we, she will continue all the outstanding work that was prepared on the ground from the scientists and up here. And um, yes, so Thomas started this one and a half year European mission. I took the middle part of it. Samantha will then keep on going. And so we have a very long U European presence in space now. And I think that's very outstanding. So since we've uh, arrived, uh, we've spent a lot of time working together with uh, Crew 3 uh, for the so-called handover. Um, we are, of course, all very well trained when we arrive to space station, but uh, it's a very complex environment. There is so much going on, and I can really tell after seven years the sheer amount and variety of activities on board has increased enormously. And so it's really important to have the experienced crew pass along their, their experience, the tips and tricks that they have learned, and they have been just incredibly generous with, uh, with their time and incredibly patient with us. And so we expect to take advantage of, uh, of that in the next uh, few days and we're going to transition towards like normal work days in which we do our maintenance activities our science today the european laboratory columbus is completely taken over by a, an experiment grip and grasp and uh, so our colleagues are, uh, are busy doing that um, and so we are transitioning to normal days where you know we, we get on to with uh, with this important work and uh, our experienced crew three colleagues including matthias uh, watch over us and help us along yeah, and this covers also like uh, what I am doing in the next few days. So passing on the little knowledge that I have gained during the last months. But I mean, Samantha, I saw her floating in here and it's almost like she never left the space station. She's an absolutely professional. And so it's just like the, the small tips that I can pass along. But Samantha is on, a, on an excellent uh, yeah, level of preparation. So she will have no issues in the next months to run all the experiments. So for me, it's then more now also the focus on packing up. Um, yeah, we need to be prepared to return to our beautiful planet Earth within the next few days and it's a little bit weather dependent. So it might be that we are leaving yeah, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, but it also might mean that we stay for one more week up here. So that, that's all a little bit open. As it was open for your launch, it is now open for my landing. Um, and it's important that we pass on in these last few days, like all the, the specifics um, that we have figured out in the last six months. Yeah, so that's the, the, our plan for the next days, no? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, an interesting, uh, it's an interesting point and uh, it, it's very individual. Some people adapt uh, quickly and some people need a little bit more time and uh, it's, it's also a little bit unpredictable. So I think the best thing is, you know, when you first get here to take it slowly and, and listen to your body and, uh, and make sure you do not, uh, you're not too uh, bold with your floating in the first few days. I, I have to say, I, uh, especially the second time, I adapted very quickly. I felt very much at home from... Uh, really almost the moment I got here and so I'm, uh, I'm very grateful for, for that. Um, I also had the opportunity um, this time on, on, of flying on a, on a new vehicle. So as you know, on my first flight I flew um, Soyuz. Uh, this time I flew uh, Dragon, just like uh, Matthias. And uh, I think it was just amazing to have this opportunity of, uh, of flying this time on a different spacecraft and get to know a different, you know, 
not only the spacecraft, but different way of uh, doing operations. And so I wish to Matthias, as he had soon, for, uh, for his second flight. I, I, I wish that he also has the opportunity of flying on a different spacecraft. And who knows, you mentioned uh, DG, how important uh, human space uh, flight uh, is and should become more and more in Europe. So maybe for Matthias' second flight, he will get a chance to fly on a European vehicle. Who knows? <laughs> Yes, so I'm, I'm very happy that all the experiments that were prepared, uh, mostly by DLR from German scientists, but also a large share was European scientists, that it all went flawlessly and uh, I hope uh, we produce some very good results that will keep the scientists very busy for the next few months and even years, so that we learn a lot um, about the special conditions that we are uh, using here in space, the zero gravity conditions. That links already a little bit to uh, the second um, question. It depends a little bit how big the wish could be <laughs> that uh, you are allowing me to ask for. So the ISS has always been a wonderful place for international cooperation, a peaceful cooperation where nations come together and we as humanity, we strive to do something for the good, for the benefit of all mankind. So in that symbol, um, I would like to have it again stronger reflected on the ground and that the leadership um, on the ground, the decision makers come back and return our uh, beautiful Europe, our beautiful planet Earth into a peaceful place where people cooperate for the, for the benefit of all mankind. That's a very big wish, I know. Um, if it's only a smaller wish, then I would like to step back a bit and I would hope that more students, more young people get inspired by space and dare to propose experiments to fly up here because we have a lot of nice facilities up here that are useful for students, for PhD students, um, for young researchers. They just need to dare to bring science uh, and experiments up here to space. And uh, yeah, I wish I would see more European participation up here in space. Okay, I asked for two wishes now. Yes, also thank you from space. Thanks to everyone who contributed to this magnificent mission, Cosmic Kiss. It's the German Space Agency, it's ESA, but uh, a lot of scientists all across Europe and obviously also our friends and partners in the international community, being it um, our American friends or the Japanese friends, the Canadian partners and the Russian partners. So thank you around the world for this incredible support. And with this, I hand over the European voice, the microphone over to Samantha. She's the future. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been a great event. And uh, goodbye. Tschüss and arrivederci.